Miller World and welcome back to your own channel where you find the world's renowned personalities giving tips and doing discussions on relationships, motivation, life growth, parenting, trauma narcissism and much more. So stay tuned with Disrupt or Disappear. So in today's video, we are going to look at this interesting thing, how a narcissistic person manipulates their victims, how they use their tricks or tips or certain things on their victims in order to create their own control over their lives, be it physically, mentally or emotionally. So to know all of these, let's just dive into the video. When someone says they will call you later, you expect that they will. Maybe a few times they may not follow up with the call but perhaps for perfectly good reasons. They might say something like, I fell asleep, or I got distracted with work. How many times though, does it need to happen before you recognize that they simply are kind of messing with you, that they probably aren't going to call you back? Future faking is often much more sinister than not calling you back later. It's actually a form of manipulation and of keeping you hooked in by making the kinds of future promises you want to hear. For example, this may include wanting to have a family with you someday. And perhaps they might say things about wanting to get married someday and buy a house together someday and travel the world together someday. It may be that they're going to support you in starting a business together someday. They set the tone for the life you want, for the life you envision and for the things that you hope for. And they use future faking though for very different and much more manipulative. If we know only one thing, it's that one of the main things that can often keep people stuck in narcissistic relationships is financial dependency. And once that narcissist renders you financially dependent on him or her, they are able to exert far more psychological control. And that's even going to be more pronounced if you move to a part of the country you're not from or to another country. The future faking idea that they will take care of everything financially can get you stuck into a problem. They'll focus on talking about future things that really, really matter to you. And that doing this, this future faking can make you doubt yourself and make you think twice about transitioning out of the relationship. You're like, mm, am I leaving before they serve the cake? Because what they'll often do is they will often employ future faking at very strategic times to keep you hooked in to the relationship. Just when maybe a significant decision needs to be made about work or school, that's when they'll exert it. Now, future faking is often a way for them to get what they want now by making a promise to you that's down the road. One day when we have kids, one day when we buy a house and so on and so forth. In that way, it's sort of like a psychological Ponzi scheme in which you buy in now and never get paid down the road. They ask you to make a sacrifice now, make a compromise now, give them money or support something else now, because someday they will do whatever that thing you want is. Now, what they're astute at is really kind of figuring out what matters to you in the future and promising you exactly that thing. Now, it's not because they're magical, but it's often part of the mirroring process where they listen to you and they figure out what makes you tick, which gives them a perfect tool. To so what does future faking do to you? I can promise you it's not very good. It messes with your head because it actually harnesses your hopes and uses them against you. By mirroring you, the narcissist taps into what matters to you and then promises it to you. It's like falling prey to a very, very clever mind reader. It is really a particularly compelling form of manipulation because 
enough of us are realistic enough to recognize that not everything can happen right in this moment. So obviously someone may very well promise you your dream or dream house and dream life one day, but we have to be realistic and we have to be circumspect enough to recognize that it cannot happen right now. So in that way, we're being the realists. We then recognize that it's going to take time for these so-called promises or to get the money, to build the family, all of those things that would make this so-called promised future happen. However, in doing that, we affix that dream to the narcissist. And now the narcissist's flaws, the narcissist's invalidation, and their emotional abuse can actually get overlooked because they are conflated or linked to that dream. You may very well stay in whatever kind of relationship you have. Honestly, the only way to truly avoid future faking is to put yourself in charge of your own dreams. And always keep in mind that so many people after they go through an experience of future faking, they often blame themselves. They say, this is my fault. I wanted X, Y, and Z so badly that I got blinded by my own dreams. I got blinded by my own hopes. I got blinded by the things I wanted. And I wanted them so bad. And again, they may not be grandiose things that I believed that moving to this other country, moving to this other place, giving up my career, leaving school early, supporting their education, and so on and so on and so forth, was going to be what was right for me. And I got so lost in that, that they'll get mad at them and say, I let this happen. Mm, I wouldn't be that hard on yourself. The fact of the matter is, is that even though it's incredibly important that you become the advocate for your own dreams, every one of us, every one of us is vulnerable to the idea of wanting to share hopes and dreams and wanting to attach ourselves to people who share those hopes and dreams, hoping we can achieve them together. It feels like it's so much more of a joyous journey when we share it with someone, and it can be. Just make sure that you hitch your wagon to someone who's respectful, compassionate, kind, and sees through those day-to-day. -day. Well, it's all well descriptive every time, but do not forget to tell us your stance in the comment sections below. We are looking forward towards that.